You're about to learn why the Grayscale Spot ETF failure to pass is actually a good thing during this bear market. There's a lot of thing, a lot of dominoes resting on that arbitrage opportunity. I'm gonna get into it. If you guys are enjoying these daily videos, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, check us out on the CT Club down below in the video description for trade alerts, portfolio updates, AMAs, market updates, all that good stuff just for you. So uh they i made a video about this about what three weeks ago how they were saying if they if they deny our uh, request for a spot etf again we're gonna sue them they were rejected by the sec yesterday on wednesday and now we're seeing that they're they're doing it they're suing the sec there's a lot of people torn between the situation but what's important to understand is that gbtc the uh, exchange like fund, the uh, ETF like fund uh, offered by Grayscale has been trading at a premium compared to the price of Bitcoin. Why are people choosing to uh, invest in GBTC rather than the actual Bitcoin is because number one, it allows you to invest through your IRAs or other investment funds in a tax free manner. So as long as that premium isn't too high, it's still more affordable than paying taxes if you were to take profits on that. Additionally, uh, a lot of platforms, a lot of venture funds, hedge funds, lending platforms were using this premium in their favor by taking Bitcoin, nah, not their Bitcoin, their lenders Bitcoin, your Bitcoin, if you had Bitcoin on, let's say Celsius, BlockFi, uh, probably Voyager, a lot of different uh, platforms were doing this, taking that Bitcoin and depositing it in exchange for GBTC. And then there's a six month lockup period. So these lending platforms and other hedge funds were sacrificing that six month worth of liquidity in exchange for this profit that they were using to entice more lenders, more people to deposit onto their exchange and uh, the cycle continues. Now we're seeing a liquidity crunch. Uh, we're seeing lending platforms not be able to uh, service the withdrawals that everyone needs to make. BlockFi has been doing some, uh, not, not completely cutting off withdrawals, but definitely some delays. Celsius, of course, has locked up their users' funds. Voyager has also reduced your ability to withdraw. Um, and I think GBTC has a, a part to play in that. Now here's what you need to pay attention to is that if this ETF were to be passed, that arbitrage uh, opportunity would disappear because there wouldn't be such a secondary market for GBDC. There wouldn't be a six month lockup period. Uh, that, our, that, that profit would be gone. So for those of you who you know, were thinking maybe this was a better opportunity than just buying Bitcoin, Buying the real thing is always a good idea. Storing it in a cold storage is always a good idea. Now we have Grayscale taking the SEC to court. A lot of people think it's gonna be like a decade. It's gonna be the year 2032 before a decision is made. Not to mention the irony that a private company is suing a government entity because they need a decision from a government entity. What do you think is gonna happen after this? After the court case, do you think the SEC is gonna think of Grayscale as their buddy after this? I don't think so. Um, so anyway, uh, they're going to court. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, buy Bitcoin if you want to, hold it long-term. I think that's a great plan. This is not financial advice, but definitely keep it on a storage, on a cold storage wallet, Ledger, Trezor. Links for that are down below in the video description if you guys need a tutorial. I believe in your ability to store your own Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies. Okay, that's it. This is Crypto Tips. My name is Heidi. I'll see you tomorrow.